it's fall y'all not even from the south or like lived in the south ever but you gotta say y'all with fall right i have my pumpkin these are like little baby pumpkins i got this from like the target five dollars section and then this is like three dollars from target i think um but i'm really having fun with this setup so hope you like hey everybody welcome back to my channel if you are not new i truly appreciate you coming back if you are new nice to finally meet you so today i don't know if you can tell obviously by the title um we're going through my graphic tee so this is i honestly just ordered um two more so i do have some more coming um which if you're not following me over on instagram or tiktoks i'm trying to do more like daily outfit reels because i just have a lot of fun filming those they're very lighthearted, um and i think it's kind of fun so follow me over there i will be probably featuring those in like reels tiktok stuff like that before uh youtube videos so if you want to see what is coming then go follow me over there otherwise i do have like a pretty good selection i do have all the way up to 40 all the way down to 15. so if you want some good ideas on graphic tees, then just keep watching. So we're gonna start from this side. This is the less expensive side. I guess I should say all the way down to like $4. I am going to try them on, but just kind of give you an overview first. So this one is a new favorite. I got this one from a thrift store near us and I obviously live in Colorado. So we have the Broncos. I just really like this. I think it's fun, very cheap. Um, and then next up, we do have a couple of Amazon purchases. So this one I do have in a blue color as well. I love the way that these fit. These are extremely soft. Um, they're kind of like Hanes t-shirts, I would say, uh, but very simple. Sublime, I have had, so the Amazon ones I have had for over a year and I still wear them, still love them. Anytime I wear the Sublime t-shirt out, I always get compliments on it. So this is a good one. Okay, so I do have two from this brand. The brand is Ghost Lifestyle. I don't prefer one over the other. They are pretty much exactly the same like fabric. Um, this was from their Band Tee release, I believe. Um, and I am obsessed with these t-shirts. So on the back, it does just kind of have like the Band Tee effect. And then this like washed green is really pretty. It's super soft, super like flowy, oversized. I love the way that these fit. They don't have these exact ones in stock right now, um, but they do have other ones and those would probably, I assume, fit exactly the same because it's by the same brand. This is the second one that I got and then it also has just the same kind of back going on. And then next up, so I found out about this from Brooke, Brooke works out, I believe her name is. Um, and I totally forgot about it. So quick story time. When I was living in San Diego, they had, we went to this mall, they had cotton on. I was obsessed with cotton on. They had stuff for pretty decently priced and I would go in there pretty much every weekend and get a new outfit. Loved them, um, completely forgot about them until she talked about it. And I was like, why did I ever stop? And we went there and we came back with some goodies. So they definitely are geared, I would say more towards like the rock bands. They have a lot of um, like ACDC, Metallica, like that kind of stuff. So I did pick up the Metallica t-shirt, just a plain back. And then I did pick up a black Sabbath t-shirt as well, plain back. I really enjoy the way that these fit. They are two different fits actually. Um, so I'll go over those when I try them on as well. And last but definitely not least, um, I believe this is the most expensive one. It is from Urban Outfitters and I am obsessed with this. So I have had this t-shirt since before mushrooms were super trendy. I have washed this a few times. So it is a little bit more faded than it would be normally, but still very vibrant. And then the back also has mushrooms going around it. I am obsessed with this. They technically call it a t-shirt dress. So I did get the small medium and I just, I'm obsessed with this. It definitely is oversized and 
I think having like one or two good oversized things from a more expensive brand is always good to have on hand. Just because I do, I love that t-shirt dress. So much. Okay, so I think that is all for like the sit down, go through it. So let's hop right into the try on. Okay, so I put the lightest biker shorts on that I have, so that way you can see like how far down the shirts go in comparison. Um, so I have pulled these down. They look a little weird. So I'm gonna pull them up how I normally wear them. Okay, so this t-shirt, obviously, I got it from a thrift store, so it is not available. I mean, if you can find it, let me know where you get it. Um, but I just wanted to include this specific one because I did want to say that going to a thrift store is so much better if you're just looking for oversized like graphic tees because A, there's so much, B, they're like rotating, they're pretty unique, C, it's, substa it's, it's sustainable, um, and then last but not least, of course, it's good for your wallet. Um, so. I really recommend going to your local thrift store if you are looking for more graphic tees, oversized t-shirts, things like that. This was a great find. I obviously would have it like a little bit bigger if I could choose, but I just really enjoyed the look of this. So this is t-shirt number one. number three we are getting into the Amazon category um, Amazon really does have some great oversized tees only thing I have found is you have to kind of read the reviews for sizing because some can be sized super small and some can be sized really big the specific one that I am wearing right now is the Amazon one um, obviously and it is $20 uh, they do go on sale sometimes so just kind of keep your eye out they do have other options if you obviously aren't a fan of Sublime. They do have other band tee options. Um, I just am actually a fan of Sublime, so this was great for me. So this is, I got this one in a large. I believe it is the biggest size that they offer. Um, I am 5'7 for height reference. I don't know how much I weigh, um, but I am like an eight pant, so goes down a little bit further, flowier than the other one. I really like the way that this fits. It hangs really well. It doesn't cling to anything, and it's just that nice, flowy, oversized fit. I will say I tend to use wear this like more around the house. <clears throat> I tend to wear this more like around the house um, and just kind of on chill days because of how comfortable it is, but I obviously will wear it to work out as well. So if I am tucking it in, that's what it looks like. Super cute in the back. And then it does fall really nicely in the front as well. So this is t-shirt number two. Okay, so t-shirt number three, we are still staying with Amazon, but obviously a different brand, different colors, everything like that. So this is the solid t-shirt. I have this in the dark blue as well. And I love it. I have not adjusted the shorts. So you can really tell the length difference. This one does go down the furthest so far. Um, it is still really flowy around the thighs. Like I don't feel like it's suctioning to my thighs around my butt or anything. I definitely feel like I have room. I gotta move this guy back. I definitely feel like I have room in the arms. Um, the armpits aren't like super tight up. They are a little bit longer on the sleeves. And I got this one in an XL and this one is actually really insanely cheap. So this one's only $13. Um, I, it is on sale right now when I'm filming this for $8. Um, so if you do just want like a stock of oversized t-shirts in different plain colors, Highly recommend this brand. Like I said, kind of compare it to a Hanes t-shirt, um, but just not as fitted. So this is t-shirt number three. Okay, so we are moving in to cotton on territory. 
So this is a men's shirt in their section and this is the medium. Um, so they do have a lot of different sections. I have found that the best way to kind of figure out what size you are for them is to again read the reviews because you kind of get an idea of what would work best for what kind of look you're looking for. I did get this in a medium, honestly could have sized up to a large, maybe even an XL with just how big I like my t-shirts. But this is a really good like oversized but not too oversized, still looks like a t-shirt, doesn't look like it's just overflowing, um, which I like the overflowing look, I feel more secure. But I do really, really like this t-shirt, so it is going to hit mid-short, I would say. Um, it does not cover up my butt at all. And it's just really comfortable. I will say it is very lightweight compared to the one I just had on. This feels a little bit more just lightweight, breathable in general. And this one, I don't know if I've said it yet, is $30. Um, the, like I said, the last one was 13. So pick your poison. <laughs> so this is t-shirt number four. Okay. So this is again by cotton on kind of has the same fit. Definitely a different feeling. This feels more like a like a jersey fit almost, not like a sports jersey, but like the sheets jersey, if that makes sense. Um, it's a, definitely a not as stiff, even though I wouldn't say that's stiff. It's just a looser fit. This t-shirt compared to the last t-shirt, this one is $15, the other one is $30. Um, so I don't know the huge, the double the price, I truly, don't know where it's going, but I did get a medium in this as well. This is a men's. So we got Metallica. I really like how it came kind of distressed looking. If you, I don't know if you can pick it up, but it's not like the perfect dye pattern, which I like. I like the kind of distressed look, looking like somebody has worn this a long time. Um, and I just think that I'm rediscovering a love for cotton on that I apparently had forgotten about. Uh, but I definitely will keep going back because it looks like they have sales and their t-shirts are really nice quality. So A plus for cotton on. Obviously now we are moving into ghost territory. Um, so this is the darker band tee. Both of the ghost t-shirts are $32, $32.99 and I did get an XL in both. I love the way that these t-shirts fit. I just, having touched them again and touched everything else, so far this is the softest t-shirt in my opinion. And I, again, I love it. I believe these are unisex or men's. Um, but I tend that I tend to find that if you do want that oversized look, go for the men's or go for the actually like labeled oversized because it's just going to fit you a little bit better. It's not going to hug you in weird places. Uh, it's just going to be a little bit more flattering on the body. So this is again, the oversized fit. It is completely covering my shorts. So again, one of the longer t-shirts in today's haul does completely cover my glutes. I am obsessed with this. Um, I love this t-shirt when I just really want that oversized look. Again, the armpits are super low, not digging up high, very breathable. I just can't say good, enough good things about these t-shirts. They are a little bit more pricey, but truthfully, they are some of the better t-shirts in my collection. And I, I, I wear a lot of t-shirts, so for me, $33 is a little bit more worth it but it depends on what you're looking for. If you just want a couple like in and out, don't really worry about it, go to Amazon. You don't need to spend the extra money. The reason I am showing you like it tucked in and everything like that is because I like to show how it falls if you do choose to tuck it in. I am a tuck it in girly and sometimes they can fall very weird. So for anybody else who is a tuck in girly, um, this is for you. So I hope that it helps you get a little bit better 
I hope that it helps you get a little bit better of an idea of what would work best for you. If you do want to see any other like styling ideas, poses, anything like that, please leave them in the comments below. I am always open to constructive criticism. Okay, and then obviously like ghost tee number two, they fit almost identically. Um, I truthfully believe that if you are to get any of the ghost collection t-shirts from any of their releases, I think that they're going to fit the same. Don't take my word on that because I haven't bought from a different collection, but I don't see why they would differ. I do plan on buying from future collections though, so I will report back on my findings. <laughs> But again, got the XL, super oversized. Haven't really adjusted much on the shorts unless they're just slowly creeping up. Full booty coverage, very light, very flowy. Tuck it in, in the back. And it falls very naturally in the front. So I really like that when it's not falling all weird, like I said. And this is, again, just one of my favorite tees. To work out and it's very soft i love it so as you can see on the back it does have the like band tee style the darker one has that as well this is just with the collection obviously it will vary for collection on what's on the back okay and last but absolutely not least is the mushroom t-shirt. So this one is from Urban, it is $40. It is expensive, but I am obsessed with it. This is the only Urban Outfitters oversized t-shirt, dress, whatever that I have, and I want more. Um, so this, they still have it in stock, I just checked, uh, and you can buy this today. I am obsessed with this. They do have it in like a darker color for the background. I could even go, so I got this one in a small medium because they do classify it as the dress. And I definitely could have gone medium large because again, I like to swim in my clothes. But this one is really the bee's knees for just throwing over anything. Um, it really is kind of similar to the same fit as the ghost ones, I would say. Um, and that $14 one from Amazon. So that $14 one from Amazon is really holding on strong. Only downside to that, obviously, they are plain colors and they are just a little bit thicker than the other ones. So they're a little bit hotter inside and a little less breathable. But overall, you're spending $14 versus 40. So I'd say it's worth it. Uh, but if you are looking to splurge, highly recommend Urban Outfitters. So obviously I love the mushroom print. They have a variety of different prints that you can get. Um, with it being the t-shirt dress, I will say that tucking it in on the back, it does fall like a little funky on me in the front, but that's just because, it, again, it's classified as a dress. So I tend to actually just wear it down like this and then I will just kind of poke it over my booty because I just don't like that feeling when it's like tight over it and just kind of pulling. So this is actually the way that I wear it. Wouldn't recommend tucking it in the back for me just because it has that like weird falling spot. Um, but obviously personal preference. And then on the back, as you can see, we do have the continuation of the mushrooms, which I think is super cute. I know mushrooms are really trendy right now, but I had this first, so I started the trend. <laughs> no, not really, um, but I have had this a long time. Mushrooms are trendy right now, so obviously this is a little bit more trendy right now, but I still think it's cute 365, and I am obsessed with this, so. So we went through all of the t-shirts. Um, overall, I will say that I think the ghost ones for me come out on top, followed by the cotton on ones. Um, the ghost ones are just like my Goldilocks. I really love the way that the XL fits me, but I know that I can go up if I want it a little bit bigger, and I know I can go down if I want it a little bit smaller. 
I just love the breathability. I love the way that they fall. I like the way that they tuck. I think all around the ghost lifestyle ones right now that I have are my hands down favorite. Again, cotton on is a close second. I would say price definitely plays a factor into that. You can find t-shirts as low as $15, like I said. Only thing with cotton on is they do have a variety of different styles and t-shirts. So you can do, so they do have more like, it's a boyfriend style fit. This is men's, um, this is women. It's it's very broad so as far as getting my sizing down i have found it a little bit more challenging but i think that now i have figured out what i am in like the boyfriend size i can kind of move into other genres and figure out my sizing for those um i would probably go up in both of those t-shirts just because again i like really oversized clothes but other than that i think that they are great quality i think that the price is really great as well. Like I said, you can find them for on sale and they I feel like they have sales pretty regularly. The urban dress, t-shirt dress, um, I am not forgetting about that. That is a, I love it, but I can't tell if I am absolutely obsessed with it because of just the design or if I'm obsessed with the fit. Like I said, the fit does really resemble the ghost t-shirt. So obviously there is some similarities there. There is some uh, common ground. Of course, I'm liking that because I like the ghost tee, if that makes sense. And then I would try it in maybe a medium large size just to kind of see the big difference and see if I do like that one a little bit more. I would recommend if you are wanting to invest in a really nice t-shirt, I would say definitely try out the Urban Outfitter t-shirts because those are great. And I, I really, like I just think that Urban is really nice quality and I think that it's gonna last you a pretty long time. I have had that one for, I want to say, over a year as well. But again, I have had the Amazon ones for over a year and those are holding up just as well. I will say that I do get more use out of the Urban one just because I gravitate to that one based off of the design, I believe. Um, I know this is the end of the video, but I wanted to say I picked all of these t-shirts because these are the t these are the t-shirts that I continuously go back for. I notice if they're not in my closet. Um, these are the t-shirts that are just kind of a staple and I need them to be clean continuously because I gravitate towards them. So that is kind of how I picked what I was going to talk about. So those are like my top of the top. I still have other t-shirts that I absolutely love for different reasons. I still, like I said, I have more graphic tees coming. My collection is always changing. So if you do want to keep up with it, please don't forget to follow me over on my TikTok, which is just Kelsey Ellen as well. And then my Instagram, which is also just Kelsey Ellen. So, so I hope you guys are having a wonderful day whenever you're watching this wonderful week. And I'm so